YouTube? What's up, everybody? It's Doc Holiday. I'm back. I'm gonna try to keep my energy up for this one. I'm feeling under the weather. My family's been sick this week. Been taking care of them. So now, I'm getting sick. You guys are here to watch me rip some cards. So, I got a box here of UFC Don Ross 2022. This is the debut edition. Look for blaster exclusive laser parallels. So just like in all the other Don Ross, look for the iconic rated rookies featuring the up and coming stars of the UFC. Look for blaster exclusive rated rookies, signatures, parallels. So we got Kamaru Usman on the front, Pena, Jorge Masvidal, and Hamzat. This is an official UFC licensed product. On to the good stuff. This is a 225 card set, including 200 base, 20 rated rookies, and 5 voices of the octagon. And then if you want to go ahead and pause the video and take a look at some of the things we're looking for in the box, I'll go ahead and read off a few. We got base hollow purple lasers numbered to 99. Be pretty sick to pull a numbered card. Don't see a lot of guys pulling those out of here. We also have rookie signatures hollow purple laser numbered 1 to 15. Now that would be something. That's definitely something I'm shooting for in the box. We got proof pink hollow orange lasers, octagon marvels hollows, purple lasers numbered to 99 so a lot of numbered stuff in here you know the typical lasers but imagine how cool it would be if we had some kind of case hit in the box kind of like a downtown i've watched some guys rip hobby i've seen dgen rips rip this so i don't know if i'm willing to go in for a hobby box i'm gonna try out some retail see how i do but um it would be something to pull an autograph out of here All right, guys, here we go. I talked long enough. 15 cards per pack, six packs per box. Ages nine and up, guys. You don't want the kids ruining the cards now, do you? I'm just kidding. Buy your kid a box if you want. You can do whatever you want with your money. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But I'm going to help you make the decision by ripping these, if you want to buy these or not. First pack, I'm excited. Time to get cracking. We got Alex Perez, Yar Rodriguez, Conor McGregor base. Stipe, Brandon Moreno, lost the title. Jermaine Day ran to me. I'm pretty sure she's the one that fought Holly Holm. Can't remember if she won or lost. If she did win, I just remember thinking she was not deserving of the win. Here's the guy that everybody's chasing. Patty Pimblett. Good fighter. Kind of lets himself go between fights. So we'll see how much longevity he has in the sport. I don't usually look at centering and stuff on the video, but you know what? To be honest with you guys, at first glance, this thing has beautiful edges and... It's well centered on the front. Can't really tell with the back on these things. Patty Pimblett, I think he's pretty good. I don't think he's the same skill level as Sean O'Malley though. All right, we got 22nd knockout Francis Ngannou. Here's my first Marvels. That's a cool one to get. These are really cool. These are definitely going in the PC. Max Holloway, I'm a big fan of those cards. Be nice to get one of these numbered or some kind of laser as a marvel. All right, I'm going to jet through the rest of the pack. Amanda Rebus. There's Cormier. We got a Bizbang. I watch him a lot on YouTube. Next pack. Got to keep this thing moving and try to keep this video under 10 minutes. Looks like there's a purple in there. Is it going to be numbered? Anything like that? Probably not. Hold on. Throwing those in the back. Jared Cannonier. Dominic Reyes. I'm just going to go through these. There's Figueredo. Fought some really entertaining fights against Moreno. Kobe Covington. Definitely a personal favorite of mine. I like the pressure. I like the action-packed fights. Morales. Rosenstruck. See a lot of his... I see a lot of his autographs on eBay. 
Seems like people get them and put them right up. Nogueira. Cub Swanson. Throwback. I remember watching him years ago. Rich Franklin. I remember when he was the champion. UFC wasn't as popular at that time. I can't remember if he had one or two losses against Anderson Silva. I believe Silva stopped him. Yeah, it had to be quite some time ago. A lot of you guys were saying this sport was way too brutal, but I was a fan way back since 2001, around that time period. Tiago Santos. Here's a crunch time. I like these. Look like a cereal box. Usman. Maybe we'll see him fight Kobe again. Close fights. Here's our purple parallel. Ed Herman. I think he was on the Ultimate Fighter. All right, I'm trying to keep this energy up with COVID. Can I do it? Gaethje. First word that comes to mind when I think of him. War. this video under 10 minutes don't know if I'm gonna do it it's like an orange in there put that on the back is Don Russ trolling me I see these backwards cards sometime and I think autograph first thing that comes to mind but it's probably just a troll Dos Anjos John Jones Derek Brunson Zhang Wei Li former champ tough woman Shogun. Mark Coleman. Joe Lazone. Brad Riddell. Somebody was arguing with me about this guy in the comment sections before, saying they think he's going to be a champion, and I was disagreeing. But I'll tell you one thing about this guy. I did check him out, because before that, I only seen one fight. And the guy, I will give the guy something. He's a pretty good fighter, and he does go in there with that war mentality he goes in there for a hard fight Darren Till and guys we did it I don't even want to know I thought I got trolled I thought I got trolled but it's a signature let's hope for a champion or at least somebody real good um pull that put that face down I'm not looking we got Chuck Liddell here no no Way, way. And we got an awesome crunch time out of 99. Did I just hit an awesome Don Russ blaster? Because these Don Russ blasters usually let me down a lot of times. I'm not going to lie. But guys, crunch time John Jones out of 99. Holy sh**. Just that card right there would have made the whole blaster. And I might have one of the best bangers as far as these blasters are concerned on all of YouTube. Let me know what you think in the comment section if you see this. Um, can't tell with the crunch time in the background, but it's, I think it's an orange laser, maybe green and yellow, but, um, 18 out of 99. What a freaking hit. I would have screamed if my family wasn't sleeping in the other room. All right, we got to see what this signature is. Whew, can't go wrong now anyway, after that John Jones. What do we got? Oh, wow. Holy shit, guys. It's, what a throwback. Wow. We got Don Fry. Now this guy could bang. This guy would get in there. Just look him up on YouTube, guys. He's got two pretty good names under his belts. Victories, where he picked up the W. This guy beat Tank. Most of you guys know who Tank Abbott was. And he also beat Ken Shamrock. One of the OGs that competed in UFC 1. Those are two notable wins under Don Fry's belt. Man, a legend and a colored parallel on top of that. 
got a few more packs. Maybe something crazy will happen. I don't think there'll be another big hit like that. But stranger things have happened. You never know. Yes. I'm a big fan of Michael Chandler. He just called out McGregor. McGregor kind of seems like he's on the tail end of his career. What do you guys think? You think Chandler can um, beat him? Do you think Chandler's hungry enough? You think he has the skills and the trench war mentality to really take the fight to McGregor? What do you guys think? Or do you think McGregor can box him, stay on the outside? We know sometimes McGregor folds under pressure, though. But does Michael Chandler have what it takes to turn the pressure up to that level? Last pack. This has been one hell of a box. I'm so happy I went with this box, $30, rather than pay for a hobby box and maybe not even get a good signature. Rob Font, out of the corner of my eye, he was almost looking like Polly Malinaji for a second. Paulo Costa. Leon Edwards, Derek Lewis, we'll see him again, Brian Ortega, we got Rakic, and here's our crunch time, Robert Whitaker, two in a row, Jan Blakowicz, he's got a pretty impressive win over Israel Adesanya, check that fight out, Cujo, there you have it guys. What a freaking blaster. And you guys got to see it with me. Yeah, I'm sick. I hope I kept the energy up decent. I know most boxes are not going to be like this. You know, from all the box openings I've seen, and then mine, if I had to rate my box that I opened today, obviously I'm giving this box a 10 out of 10. But um, if I had to factor in all the openings I've actually seen, you know, and then price-wise of the box and everything, you know, it's probably like a 6 out of 10. But my box right here... This was a 10 out of 10 box, guys. Definitely highly suggest at least picking up one box. I usually do, unless the product is really terrible. And this is actually, there's a lot of cards in here. A lot of uh, parallels. And you do have a chance, obviously, at some numbered stuff and some autographs. And some good rookies. At $25, actually. I believe this box was $25. At $25 for this box, can't go wrong. Definitely pick up a box. Fat stack right there. What a box.